Wow, look at the size of this Rishi. Can't even get to it, but it's, it's a, for Florida, I will say this is a good size. A lot of them don't get this big here. That is impressive. This is an oak stump. Look at that, huh? That's a good one. We're gonna go ahead and harvest that. Beautifully clean too. No bug damage, no problem. It's ready for tea. So, look at that beauty. That's what we call a polypore, because on the bottom it doesn't have gills. It's got all these little microscopic little tubes. You'll probably never see it on camera, because the camera's not that great. But, if you look in real life, it's got tons of little openings, like pores on your skin. That's where it releases the spores from. Rishi mushrooms have kind of a brown, rust-colored spore print. It's hard to get a print off these. They release slowly over weeks, not in mass overnight, like a regular fleshy mushroom. So in order to get a good print, you would take, you'd leave it growing outside, take a paper bag, stuff it around it, kind of tie it up around the, the stalk of the mushroom, the stipe, and come back in a couple of days, take the paper bag off, and inside that paper bag be tons and tons of brown spores, which you could then collect any way you want. So this is a Ganoderma curtisii, the reishi mushroom, our native reishi here in Florida. Kind of has a red lacquered appearance. It starts off white, and as it matures, it turns yellow, then red, sometimes a little bit of a purple in there. Beautiful mushroom. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for watching.